Alrighty, let's learn how to scrape a web page using N8N. What we're going to do is start by creating a manual trigger so that we have something to start the workflow. And the next thing we're going to do is create a HTTP request. And this is the thing that's going to call our URL. Now we already have our URL and website over here that we know we want to scrape. And so this is a real estate website. We would like to extract some data from it. And so we go through and fill in these parameters. Authentication we don't need because we're not authenticating to access the website. We do need to send headers to this website. This is the text-based representation of the source code of the web page. It's quite large and quite lengthy. What we are going to do is now add a HTML node, and this allows us to work with HTML. What we want to do is extract the HTML, could actually define what is the way of accessing the piece of data we want on the page. And we go to copy in the context menu, and we select copy selector back into here. And we say that our CSS selector is this information that it no, it's done it. So here we have the information we wanted, uh, which is the price. So we've now effectively scraped data from a website. 